happening here on new art exhibit for Waterfire. Just like everything else, Waterfire has been offering art in a different way this past year. And here to tell us all about the new display are Ed Cabral from Waterfire, along with Candy Adrian's widow of the artist featured Robert Rome. Good morning. Good morning. Good thank, morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ed, let me start with you. This is another great exhibit at the Waterfire Art Center. Tell us a little bit about it and how it came together. Yes, yeah, so after our last exhibition with Howard Bentray, we had been working with Candy uh, and talking about putting something together. Bob's work has spans over 50 years and uh, she's been a great supporter of Waterfire. So we decided to uh, follow up with Bob's work at the Waterfire um, Art Center. Candy, let's talk a little bit more about the artwork that people will see and what it means to you to be able to see it in this beautiful and unique space. Oh, it's. Um well, I've been telling people it's an out-of-body, sort of otherworldly uh, experience because he's been gone for eight years. And um, this show has been, you know, in the works but in the background for quite a while, and I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen. So it, when it came together, it happened quite quickly, and uh, luckily I was pretty prepared for it. But to see it in that space is absolutely extraordinary. It, it is actually otherworldly. It brings this work together in a way that it's never been seen before. And he he never came close to seeing this work this way. And the light in the space uh, brings color out that hasn't been seen. And uh, it's very moving to me. It's hard, to, almost hard to describe. Absolutely. And we know that space, if anybody has had the opportunity to be there, it really can transform to whatever is in the room. And I'm sure it's done just that for this as well. Now, we just had the opening over the weekend, Candy. Were you able to kind of see people's reaction to the artwork? It was mind blowing, Ashley, honestly. Well, first of all, we're coming, you know, out of COVID slowly. So a lot of people were there that hadn't been out mm. previously and they were ready for this exhibit. And it, uh, there were probably, I don't know, Ed can correct me on this, but maybe it felt like 150 people maybe over the course of a couple of hours. And it was overwhelmingly positive, but in a way that felt so real. Uh, I think we were all transported by it, honestly. What a great way to describe it. And Ed, with the seasons changing, kind of like Candy said, and seeing everyone come back out, what a great way to celebrate a new season with this beautiful new show. Absolutely. I mean, as Candy said, it was so great to see all these folks coming together. And, you know, the space is so big at the Waterfire Arts Center, so everybody felt comfortable and safe being together. And, of course, everybody was masked up. But the thing is, seeing all this artwork come together, uh, open span of uh, Bob's career and having all these friends and family members and supporters of Waterfire come together and uh, you know again Waterfire bringing community uh, bringing art to the community was amazing. Ed when can people see it when is it open and you have some special community partners as well don't you? We do so we have the, the exhibition runs through Sunday April 25th and the Waterfire Arts Center hours are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. but on Thursdays we're going to be open late till 8 p.m. and we're going to be doing a couple of wonderful things in, in addition to the exhibition. On Thursday nights we're going to have our roof deck open with a uh, troop providing beer and wine. So again weather permitting. Also we're going to be working with Baliyama uh, Dance Company. They're going to be doing a performance on Sunday April 11th so look for that. And also uh, the Wilbury Theater Group is going to be putting on a Sam Beckett play in the space amongst the artwork. How incredible is that? So many great opportunities to see this artwork in a unique space with other art around it. And you know me, I love a rooftop deck with some drinks, so you know I'm going to be there on a Thursday night. And it's going to run every Thursday night through the duration of the show, so come on down. We welcome everybody to come and see this, not only see the artwork, but enjoy a, a drink up on the roof deck. Absolutely. I can't wait to check it out myself. Thank you both so much for joining us, sharing this special work, and we will share a link for more information about the art exhibit at roadshow.com, so you can check it out yourself through April 25th.